In this video, I wanted to share with you some projects that I've created in Buncee to give you an idea of what's possible. So a lot of the work that I've done has been in teaching online blended and flipped classes. I personally teach high school, but I have some ideas for elementary school through high school in this lesson. So the first idea for using Buncee is just to make a simple worksheet and it's actually an interactive worksheet because students can just, you know, click to watch this video, then they can see this little points to remember that I have for them there. Then the next thing they can do is they can do some practice and there's even a QR code which I'll talk more about in a future video. One simple idea for your Buncee is to just make a mini worksheet like this. The second idea that I wanted to share was making Buncy cards for family members. And this is so fun to do with the younger kids because they can make a truly interactive type of card. They can add in animations. They can even add in videos of themselves or videos they find from YouTube. And you can see me doing this activity with some students who are about third graders and they were just having a ball with it. This is an activity for the middle school to high school level, a timeline project. So what we did in this one was we actually made a timeline on the wall. So we made a physical timeline and then students created a project on their certain date or theme right in Buncee. So they used Buncee to create all of that and then they printed it out. There's a very easy way to download and print as a PDF from Buncee as well as creating the QR code that attached to that project. And Buncee actually generates that QR code that links you directly to the project. So by doing so, students could go up to the timeline and they could scan in the QR code. And then instead of just seeing the one page Buncee printout that was on the wall, they could see the entire project and interact with any of the videos that were embedded there. The next idea is just to do some oral presentations in Buncee with any object that you've put in there. So any picture, any text, any element that you add to Buncee, you can attach an audio with it. And so this is a great way if you're teaching an online or a blended class and you want students to be able to verbally present, this is a great way to do this. Finally, if you're a teacher and you need to prepare a lesson or a virtual lesson or a flipped lesson, you can go ahead and just add an audio element and then the students would click to play. So for each slide, they would click to play and they would be able to hear your voice and not just have to read all of the slides. Finally, for students, they can use Buncee to do things like in my math class, even in a high level class, like this was AP Calculus that I was teaching, students can take a picture of their work and then they can add in an explanation. And in this particular one, I had students actually add a video explanation. So Buncee also allows you to use your webcam and create a little video that you can attach here. The student just needed more time, so they created three different videos to explain their process through this particular problem. And that's it. Hopefully this gave you some inspiration and ideas for using Buncee and I hope you'll stick along for all of the tutorials where I explain how you actually execute these projects.